It's in Monaco. But today, you guys, I'm doing this makeup look. And this is a new first impressions makeup tutorial. So it's super dramatic, but I really, really like how it turned out. And as you guys can see, I'm trying out something new for my hair today. And I'm kind of digging it. And also, don't mind the fact that my hands are a lot lighter than my face. I explain it all in the video. So, yeah, don't mind it. But yeah, this is today's video. I really hope you like it. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you watch in high definition. And yeah, um, I'll catch you guys in my next video. And here comes the tutorial. So, good morning, lovelies. It's not really morning anymore, but it's earlier than what I usually film. So it kind of feels like it's morning. So I'm trying out a new hairstyle today. I don't know what I think about it. I feel like because I have the texture in my hair, um, like the waviness, it makes like the top of my head look very flat. And then the bottom is like really full. So I don't really know about that, but I wanted to try out this hairstyle. This is like the Ariana Grande hairstyle, isn't it? So, anyways, I'm going to start out with my new primer. This is the Stay Matte Primer by Rimmel. So it's white, looks like this. And I actually bought this, um, well, because I really like the Stay Matte Powder and the Stay Matte Foundation. And also because I have um, heard um, Diva on a Dime talk about it a lot. So, let's try it. It is super duper thick. So for my foundation, I'm actually going to use an oldie but a goldie. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte foundation. So obviously I have tried this um, foundation before, but I haven't tried it in this color before. So this is in the color 201 Classic Beige. And normally I'm in the shade Ivory. And I believe this is like two shades darker than that. And I actually bought this when I was getting a spray tan frequently. I haven't gotten a spray tan in months now. I have just kind of been digging my own natural skin tone. So this is going to be too dark for me. And that's why I'm wearing this shirt. Because it covers my arms and it covers most of my neck. So I hope that by using this shirt I can kind of get away with wearing a foundation that's too dark for me. And also I really wanted to test out the primer. So that's why I'm using a foundation that I already love on top of the primer because if the if anything happens with my foundation application and my foundation wear I know it's down to the primer so anyways let's try this and let's hope it's not like ridiculously off and I have gotten a lot of like mini spots lately I don't know why that happened so I'm going to blend it out just with my regular sponge I really want to get the real beauty blender because I have been beating around the bush for years now and I haven't purchased it and I really think I should just go ahead and try it. So it seems to be applying smoothly as normally and by the way um, the Rimmel Stay Matte foundation is not for everyone. It is a heavy foundation but it is long lasting and very full coverage and it keeps my skin super matte like no other foundation but you have to be aware that it is heavy so I don't think like the skin tone match is too bad right? it looks okay and the primer and the foundation seems to be working well together and remember to bring it onto your ears so everything matches and then just kind of move it outwards towards the hairline you guys, I have been listening to old Madonna songs all morning and now Frozen is stuck in my head. And you guys know me, I love full coverage. So I'm just going to apply, apply another layer of foundation. So for my concealer, I'm going to use Hide It Concealer by W7 in the color Medium Deep. And I was actually sent this by W7, so let's try it out. So I'm going to apply it as my under eye concealer and this is basically the same color as my foundation except it's a little more yellow toned and I'm just going to apply a little around my lips as well. So it's pretty nice, it's actually really good coverage and it's nice and creamy. I just wished I had gotten the lighter color but um, this concealer was sent to me by W7 
so I didn't get to choose the color myself. So I'm going to set with my Stay Matte Powder from Rimmel. Um, I already have this Stay Matte Powder and I have tried it many times and I really love it. But I have always gotten it in the color Translucent. So today I thought I would try a colored version. So this is in the color Sandstorm. So I go ahead and set my under eye area. And I'm also going to dust it around the rest of my face. Okay you guys, let's move on to bronzer. I'm going to use this double act uh, bronzer and blusher. Blusher? I'm English all of a sudden. And this bronzer and blush duo. So it looks like this. I'm going to use the bronzing part. And this is by W7 if I didn't already mention it. So I'm going to apply it right here. It doesn't seem to be very pigmented. So it could be that this product is not very pigmented, but it could also be that we are working with a very thick base. And I find that sometimes my blush and my bronzer has a hard time showing up on like a very thick foundation. But anyways, I get some color to my face. And today I'm not going to take my bronzer all the way around. I'm going to actually leave my temples alone. Just because I want to try that out. So it is a more subtle bronzer, which I actually like because I don't really think I have anything this subtle. All my other bronzers are pretty like heavy and pigmented and intense. Okay you guys, so to contour I'm going to use Bahama Mama by The Balm. And it looks like this, it's a matte bronzer. And you guys, I'm going to try out something new and really fun. I'm going to try out my Norris Eda brush. So this is what it looks like, isn't it cute? So I really like the brush and I also really like the bronzer but I just think it's a little bit powdery but it blends nice and easily so let me just go ahead and blend all of this out and I'm just quickly going to remove the excess foundation on my lips Okay, so I just applied a little bit of Vaseline to my lips and now we can move on. So for the blush, I'm going to use this beautiful um, Honey Queen um, blusher. So it looks like this and again this is by W7. So let's go ahead and apply this. It's very gold and shimmery. So I don't really know about that. It seems a little bit too shimmery for my taste. And for the highlighter, this is something I'm super excited about. This is the Balm's Merry Luminizer. And it looks so freaking pretty. And it's very intense. Oh my gosh. I really like this stuff. Okay, so for the eyebrows, I'm going to use the 10 out of 10 eyeshadow palette by W7. This is the Browns edition. And I'm going to use this color in the front of my brows and then this color towards the tail. So first I of course brush through my eyebrows and I'm starting with the dark color in the ends and then I use the lighter color towards the front and I am going to be cleaning up my eyebrows. I have really been enjoying cleaning up my brows so I'm going to go ahead just with the concealer straight from the bullet and just clean them up and then I blend that out with my finger this concealer is super creamy by the way okay you guys so what I think we're going to do today is going to be a cut crease with mauves and browns so I'm going to take my makeup forever flash palette dupe and I'm going to mix the blue and the pink to try and get like a mauve purpley color. Okay, so I just cut my crease with that um, cream base. And now I'm going to use this e.l.f. Um, eyeshadow quad. This is in the color silver lining. And I'm going to use the mauve color up here and I'm just applying this right in the center. It turns out more like purpley lavender, but that's okay. 
So for my outer corner, I'm going to use the purple from this Punk Funk um, Quad by e.l.f. also. So I'm applying this purple on the outer part of the base and I'm just going to blend the two together. Now I'm going to take the quad called Glam and I'm going to use the light pink color and I'm going to apply this on the inner part of my eyelid. So that's what that looks like. I'm going to do the other eye off camera and I will be right back. Okay, so I have both my eyes done now and this turned out a lot more purple than what I was expecting, but that's okay. It's a first impressions tutorial. I'm just trying new stuff out. So I'm going to use this elf quad. It's called Hazy Hazel. And I'm going to use this dark brown to cut the crease. So I'm just going right above the purple base and the purple eyeshadows. So it looks kind of crazy right now, but that's always how my cut creases look before I, you know, before I'm done with them. So don't worry about that. I'm just going to go in and blend the lines softly. So now I'm going to take my Soul Tree Midnight Eyeshadow Palette by Technique and I'm going to take this um, dark grey color and I'm applying that again along the cut crease and the same with the other eye. And again go back in and blend that out. And this is kind of a process, <clears throat> so if you're going to do a cut crease, you have to have enough time. So now I'm going to take my Catrice Absolute Matte Eyeshadow Palette, and I'm going to take this color, and I'm going to use this right above, like the dark cut crease, just to kind of fade it upwards. And for my brow bone, I'm going to use In The Buff Eyeshadow Palette by W7. And I'm going to use this lightest color over here. And this is just going right on the brow bone. And furthermore, to really highlight the brow bone, I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Trio. It's called Walking on Eggshells. And I'm going to use the color up here, marked as brow bone. And I'm just going to pop this right underneath the arch of my brow. So right down here. So for a base in my inner corner I'm going to use this um, jumbo eye pencil by Born Pretty Store in the color number one. It's like a light white color with shimmer. So I just apply that right in here around the tear duct. And putting a base around your inner corner really helps the eyeshadow that you put in here stand out and be super nice and vibrant. And I just blend that in a little bit with my pinky finger. And then I'm going to take the Nude Dude palette by The Bomb. And I'm going to take the color Fabulous and just pack that right around here. So on my lower left side I'm going to use this elf quad. It's called Nymph Dreams. And I'm going to take this color from the quad and I'm just applying that with a Q-tip to the inner part of my lower left line. Then I'm going to take my new Essence All About Chocolates and I'm going to mix these two colors. And this goes right next to that elf color. Then I'm going to take my L'Oreal La Palette Nude. And I'm going to take this brown color and again I just apply that a little bit lower, I mean a little bit further out on my lower left line. And finally I'm going to use my Absolute Rose eyeshadow palette by Catrice. And I'm going to use the absolutely beautiful plum color over here. It reminds me of MAC's um, Beauty Mart eyeshadow. And I apply this in the outer corner. So to line my upper lash line as well as my water lines, I'm going to use this e.l.f. brightening eyeliner in the color Ash. So I'm just 
just tracing this along my upper lash line. So I applied the eyeliner to my upper and lower water lines. Now I'm going to curl with my Shu Uemura eyelash curler. And for mascara today, I'm going to try out Hard Candy's um, Ginormous Lash Volumizing Mascara. This is in the color Carbon Black. And if you guys have watched my other first impressions videos, then you know that I have this mascara in a few other colors. And I'm not really a fan of it. Because it's like... It doesn't really do much for my lashes. So that's one coat. It's just, it's very hard to get any kind of volume or length out of this mascara, even if you try to build it up. But I am going to apply a second coat just to try and build it up a little more if I can. Okay, you guys, so this is two coats versus one coat over here. So yeah, it's not. You know, it's not too brilliant. And I'm also going to apply a bit to my bottom lashes. I just need the top lashes to be dry. Okay, so I have my mascara on top and bottom now. So the lashes I'm going to be using are these number 202 by Red Cherry. And these have actually been laying in my lash drawer um, ever since I got them, like over a year ago. And I have never used them. So I thought I would use them today, they are very dramatic. Okay, so these are the lashes and I actually really like them. I didn't think I was going to, you know, be crazy about them because they are so big. But because they aren't too thick, like they're very long, but they aren't too thick, I feel like they're really, really pretty. So anyways, let's go ahead and finish off this look with some action on the lips. So I have a bunch of um, liquid lipsticks by Born Pretty Store that I have not tried yet. I also have three lipsticks by e.l.f. And finally, I have a lipstick by Estee Lauder and a lip gloss by W7. So I don't think I'm going to swatch all of these colors on my lips. I'm going to select three lip options and do those on my lips and then swatch the rest um, on my hand. So to start out with, I'm going to use the combination of my Estee Lauder lipstick. This is called Candy. And I'm going to top it off with um, this W7 lip gloss and I hope this doesn't clash with the eye makeup okay it's very frosty but it's super soft and super pigmented and then I'm applying the W7 lip gloss on top can you see how huge this fucking applicator is it's crazy so actually I really like this lip combination and I really like this gloss it has nice pigmentation but it's still super glossy. So yeah, that's lip option number uno. So for my second lip option, I'm going to take my e.l.f. lipstick in the color Fearless. And this is a very nice red color. Focus. There we go. So let's see what red lips looks like together with this eye look. So this is definitely more of like a pinky red. It has like a super strong pink undertone. So that's the second lip option. Um, this feels very like Jessica Rabbit to me. But I think my teeth look nice and white with this lipstick on. So that's a plus. But I don't know. I think it might be a little too much with this eye look. Oh my god, you guys. I just noticed that the corner of this eyelash is coming off. Let me just glue that back on. So I think for my liquid lipstick, I'm going to be using this color. And this is in the color number 2. So let's apply this. So that's the liquid lipstick. 
And here you guys have all the lip options swatched out. So over here you have the Estee Lauder lipstick in candy. Then down here you have um, the W7 lip gloss. Actually I forgot to tell you that the color is matte. Then in the center you have the three lipsticks by e.l.f. The first one is called Flirtatious, then Captivating and then Fearless. And then over here you have the liquid lipsticks. So we have number 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. And I really like all of these colors. Okay you guys, so here you have the finished look. And I'm actually really excited about this. I think it turned out really nice. It's obviously a very dramatic look, but I do really like it. And actually I'm also kind of digging this hairstyle. I think my hair actually looks pretty good. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, of course, please give this video a thumbs up. And make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I guess that's it. So I will see you guys in my next video. So take care and bye bye.